Hi there, this is Vivs here. In this video, I'm going to talk about the different types of methods. Now that you guys understand that methods are just a bunch of instructions grouped together with a common name so that you can repeat the same thing again and again, let's take a look at the four different types of methods. The first one is the one that takes no input, gives no result back. Takes input, gives no result, takes no input, gives some result, takes input and gives some result. Now I know that was quite confusing so let's take a look at each of these method types in detail. The first one would be no instructions and no reporting. Let's say that we have our boss who can be the main method and let's say we have our assistant who is capable of sending email. In simple words, all the code out there to send an email to somebody is written inside this public void send email. Now the boss simply says send email and the assistant sends email. It is as simple as that. But no instructions means that the boss has not specified to whom the email must be sent or what should be the subject, what should be the message in the email and no reporting means that the assistant has not indicated if the email was sent successfully or not. So let's go one step further and take a look at the assistant that can report back to the boss. Coming back to the same example, the boss says send an email. This time, the assistant has the send email method with all the code to send email to some person. Now notice that there is a statement saying return success at the bottom. Now this success is a boolean variable which is why I have public boolean send email instead of public void send email in the previous slide. If the email was sent successfully, then the assistant is going to report back to the boss returning true, otherwise it will return false. Now the boss can use this value and store it inside some variable such as outcome. Now the boss can use this information to figure out how many emails were sent successfully and how many failed by this assistant. But notice that the boss still doesn't say to whom the email must be sent and what it should contain. Let's take a look at the next step where the boss says send an email to contact at the rate coursetro.com with the subject hello and the message I would love to buy your course. Now the assistant obviously has to be capable of handling these instructions and therefore is modified as follows. Notice that the return is void here. The send email method now takes three strings. The first string is called two. You can call it whatever you want because it is a variable. Now string two represents the first value that is contact at the rate coursetro.com or any other value that the boss is going to send. String subject is the second value that stands for the message hello here and string message would represent the contents of the email. And once you have these three things with the assistant, the assistant can customize the code to ensure that the email is sent with that particular subject and content to the particular person mentioned in this variable string two. But here the assistant has not reported anything back to the boss. So that brings us to the final part where everything is out there. The boss sends an email with whatever details. The assistant is modified to handle those instructions from the boss and has a reporting status at the end as well that says return success if the email was sent successfully. Now of course success is true when everything is good and it is false otherwise. Now the boss can store this value inside a variable called outcome of type boolean and track how many emails were successful and how many were unsuccessful. So this completes the four different types of methods in Java. Hopefully you guys have understood something about the different types of methods. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a nice day.